electronics in today's video we are going to see some very exciting recruitment updates it is going to be 100 percent useful for all the subscribers out there we'll be seeing some bulk recruitment updates also we'll be seeing some core company recruitment updates so for both the categories of people who are looking for it companies and also for core companies today's video is going to be useful so please do watch this video till the end also if you are seeing the channel for the first time please make sure you subscribe to the channel and follow us on our instagram page so the first recruitment we are going to see is actually a bulk recruitment from Infosys. They are hiring for process executive and they are clearly looking for freshers. They have given the work experience as zero years. Now, the location is Pune. So they don't need any specific uh, certification or year of pass out or any skills for that matter. So they, this is actually a BPO job. And the main requirement is you should be handling calls. You will be talking with the customers. You will be answering to their calls and queries. And also you should be having good communication skill and good attention in detail. These are the requirements. And if you are interested, you can definitely apply here. And the process, uh, job title is process executive. Okay, zero years of experience. This is clearly for freshers. Any year of pass out can apply. So please don't miss out this opportunity. Hey guys, so we have already discussed about an academy platform in many of our videos. It is the biggest platform for all sort of learners. There is crores of people who are learning from an academy. And now there is an exciting news for core engineering branches like electrical and electronics and mechanical engineering. So one of the biggest problems faced by the employees and the graduates is that there is a skill gap, right? So they don't feel that the employees and the graduates, they don't feel that they are uh, having proper skills and they are job ready for the industry trends. Now, how to bridge this skill gap? How to become job ready? So 70% of the employees feel the same that they are having skill gap. Now, an academy has come up with bridge courses which will make you job ready and it will give you interview preparation. And on top of that, there is internship and job opportunities along with this bridge course. So the main goal of this bridge courses is to strengthen your core, tool mastery, specialization, next gen electives and interview readiness. So there is internship and job guarantee along with this bridge courses as I've told you in the beginning itself. Now who can enroll into this course? Third year and fourth year students who is interested in building a live project portfolio. Also uh, third year and fourth year students again if you are interested in cracking core engineering firm or fresh graduates or recent graduates. These people are suitable for enrolling into the Spirit courses. Another exciting news, they are conducting a workshop on April 16th and 17th for mechanical and electrical electronics background people. So for electrical and electronics, there is Conclave. This is Learn IoT 360 degree introduction to drone technology. It is, it will be happening on April 16th and 17th, 12 p.m. onwards. It is a two hour, two hour duration workshop this workshop is free of cost you can enroll into it and you can get certified also there is for mechanical engineering there is advanced automotive technologies which will be happening on april 16th 4 pm onwards it is a four hour duration uh, workshop so this four hour duration workshop will be starting from 4 pm onwards it is completely free of cost so don't miss out this opportunity just go to the link in description and you can uh, do these two workshops which will be happening on april 16th and 17th and you can actually be job ready. So go to the link in description and try to enroll into these workshops. Next two recruitments we are going to see is from Honeywell. It is a core company of electronics itself. They are hiring for two different job roles. The first one we are going to see is advanced software engineer. Now let's have a look on what is the requirements. Bachelor degree in engineering or computer science. EC candidates, triple E, EI, these streams can definitely apply here also computer science it related streams can apply here okay now let's have a look on what is the area of job requirements and design software architecture and coding integration certification testing customer support these are the areas of job so if you are interested you can apply location is bangalore talking about the selection process here it will be consisting of minimum three stages the first stage is going to be aptitude test second stage will be technical rounds and the third stage will be hr round you can expect a salary minimum 30,000 here. Next one is a recruitment update from Honeywell. Again, they're hiring for software engineer. Location is Bangalore. What is the requirement? You should be having a bachelor degree in engineering, electrical systems or computer. Again, EC, EI candidates can also apply. Minimum three months of engineering experience you should be having. 
and the areas of experience you should be uh, having a C, C++, Python, Linux related uh, development experience or Linux coding related experience if you are having, you can apply here. Minimum three months of experience only they are asking, okay. Not six months or not one year, just three months of experience if you are having. If you have done some internships, that is actually more than enough to apply for this post. Just apply before the link get expired. This is one request I want to make in every video. Whenever I am posting, if you find some uh, job opportunities suitable for you, go to the link in description and apply for it that moment itself because if you waste time, after 2-3 days, the link may get expired. Okay. The next recruitment we are going to see is from Tata Business Hub. They are hiring for junior developer. Again, fresher recruitment with 0-2 to two years of experience. They have given that good to have competencies. This is not mandatory skills, but this is some good to have skills. Okay. Uh, JSP, JS, Servlet, HTML, jQuery, OOPS concept. These are the good to have concept. Okay. Now, what is the basic qualifications which are eligible here? Computer science, IT, MCA, ME uh, in computer science, MSc computer science, MSc IT. So, MSc candidates, MCA candidates, B beta candidates, these streams of education they are looking for. Now, year of pass out again doesn't matter. So whichever year of pass out you are, you can apply here. Okay, next one is a recruitment update from Epsilon. They are hiring for developer. It is again a coding job. The first one we have seen is actually a non-coding job. It is purely a BPO job. So if you are looking for that, don't waste time. Just go to the link and apply for Infosys recruitment. Okay, Epsilon is hiring for developer. Uh, here, the year of pass out is specifically mentioned. So whichever uh, companies is mentioning this type of year of pass out specifically, for, for that uh, recruitments, the other uh, batch password candidates cannot apply. But for other recruitments uh, in which the year of password is not mentioned, then you can apply. Okay. Here, only 2020 and 21 freshers can apply. Clearly, they have mentioned freshers. Streams of education is BB Tech, MEM Tech, MCA. Computer science or comparable experience. Okay. Computer science or comparable experience means if you have done some uh, diploma in computer science or uh, IT and with experience, you can apply. Okay. Now, what all experience you need to have? HTML, CSS, JavaScript, jQuery. Now, there is actually a lot of demand for these technologies, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, jQuery. Okay. So, if you are interested in um, working with some software companies, you can study these areas or get some certifications in these areas. Next one is a recruitment from Ford. It is an automobile company. They are hiring for software engineer. Chennai is a location. Now, what is the requirement? B B Tech uh, is eligible. Freshers is eligible. Again, year of pass out, they, are, they have not mentioned. So, whichever year of pass out you are, you can apply. Provided that you are having knowledge in Java, J2E, PS, PLS, SQL, COBOL, Agile, these areas. Okay. Freshers, they are clearly looking for. So, freshers don't miss out these type of opportunities. In today's video, we are actually seeing a lot of fresher recruitment uh, updates. Okay. Next one is again a bulk recruitment from TCS. They are hiring for 2019, 20 and 21 batch pass out. Uh, the registration is still open and the test is going on. So, don't waste time. Try to apply for it. Uh, eligibility criteria minimum you should be having 60 percentage. Test pattern also they have given. There are two parts, part A and part B. Part A is cognitive skills or aptitude skills. Part B is coding. Totally 180 minutes is the duration. Okay. So, just go to uh, this link. It will redirect to the TCS Next Step portal. Go to that place and then uh, register as a new user under IT category. Then apply for the drive and also keep on tracking your drive. Okay. Or uh, keep on tracking your application. So, these are the recruitment updates that we are seeing in today's video. Uh, so, talking about the Infosys uh, recruitment and also the Honeywell recruitment, this is actually very much suitable for a lot of people out there. And also the other recruitments, uh, even though they are asking some specific skills, uh, try to apply for it because most of them are for freshers. They are just asking knowledge in those areas. Okay. So, I will be giving uh, the links in the description with the company names. So, go to the links and apply for it. Uh, as soon as possible okay so that's all for today's video i'm really hoping that you found the video useful if yes please don't forget to like share subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and keep on watching